Welcome all you plus two common modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to Solving the Witness, a laid back annotated let's play where we try to discover the deeper underlying secrets and meanings of Jonathan Blow's The Witness. And we start all of these let's plays now with a little bit of mailbag. So these are people who left comments on my previous video, which you can find right here probably on uh, the cleanup episode, which is just me going around uh, cleaning up and uh, trying to find environmental puzzles. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you're gonna see more of the same in this episode. So if you felt like the last episode was skippable, this one's probably even more skippable because I get really distracted in this episode and I kind of run all over the place, but I try to upload everything and make it as interesting as possible, but I will, I will come clean if you thought the last episode was a little bit unnecessary. It's, it's more of the same. In any case, here's what you guys had to say. Uh, Matthias brings up an interesting point because I was upset about the peninsula and the fact that the peninsula doesn't have any puzzles. Apparently, there used to be, in the original builds of the game, an entrance into the underground area from the peninsula. And they took it out because it didn't serve any purpose. I think that's very interesting. Uh, but I, it makes more sense that it's gone. Uh, especially because that area just feels so disconnected. So to actually give it a connection to like the underground area seems very strange. Though, I, I like the idea, knowing what's coming in the underground area, if that was kind of like endgame, like if that's where you exited, I think that would have been pretty cool. But I'd love to see like an earlier build of this game. That's something we're going to get into much later. Uh, let's see, uh, Draken brings up this idea, this theory that all of the environmental puzzles fit together into a big puzzle, which at first I was like, that's insanity. And also, how could you figure that out? But all of the environmental puzzles are kind of located nicely on the obelisks. Perhaps it's not one big picture, maybe it's six pictures, because I believe there are six obelisks, maybe eight. Now I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it's six. And uh, we could take the images on the sides and see if we can fit them together. So that's uh, definitely going to be some research I do in the future. Uh, Pedro Paulo brings up the idea of the trophy cases, that there are three of them, when this game has two big trophies. And trophies is, of course, a word that is associated especially with the PlayStation. Uh, because it's achievements on Xbox, and I think it's achievements on Steam, but it is trophies on the PlayStation. There are two big, huge accompl uh, accomplishments that you can kind of do in The Witness. Um, I may have done some later in the stream that you'll see later. But the idea that there's three trophy cases kind of does lead to this idea that there is a third one that we are still trying to uncover. So I like using that as evidence to fuel my madness. And a lot of people were bringing up the fact that you can't do the orange crate boat environmental puzzle in the reflection of the water, but there's other ones you can do in the reflection of the water and how upsetting that is. And in general, yes, it is in fact very upsetting. So that covers up the mailbag. We are now going to move forward with more Solving the Witness. Take it away, Player Noah. Let's do something else with our day. We've been doing this for a half an hour. Let's... Let's look at other stuff. What do you guys want to see? Editor Noah jumping in here almost right away. I find it very interesting that when you pull into a port, there is a bell. That's something I noticed in editing this time that a bell or a warning signal goes off when you're actually pulling it to the port. Why, 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 why would that be there? Uh, I ask this because there was talk about whether or not you're alone on the island or the idea of just being alone on the island. Is the alarm for you in the boat that you're approaching the dock or for people near the boat to kind of like step away, kind of like when you're at the subway and they're like, please step behind the yellow line when the train approaches. Maybe that's what that bell is, which would imply the boat being used when there are multiple people on the island, which is not like a thing that I've ever really considered. Because we've talked about people living on the island in the past, but not in this mode where it's kind of this explorer going through and doing all these panels. The idea of multiple people being on the island at the same time. It's not something that we really considered. So I found the warning bell to be very interesting. That it would 
imply that it is for people not on the boat to make them aware that the boat is coming, which would imply more people are using it. Could be overthinking it, but that's the point of the show. Tell me your favorite environmental. Is there uh, an audio clip like sitting right here? Or is that a green power cable that I... This is Let's Play supposed to be a discussion, so feel free to shout out your favorite things. I heard like almost music for a second. It freaks me out. Looks like a person. Ah. Alright, so. That's the castle from Braid. I know I've said that before, but that's the castle from Braid, Jonathan Blow's other game. Series all done. Do, 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 do. What else do I have to do? Do, 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 do. Jump it in real quick because I don't get a good shot of it, but I run right by the koi fish illusion that's taking place right here. You can kind of see it, but the reflection of the roots uh, look like koi fish in the water. Uh, I wanted to open the... Let, let's take a look at this guy. I got that guy to do... I got this Pac-Man to do. This is weird because it looks like I did the first two of it. I got a snaky one. and Ooh, I've gotten a lot of these almost done. And then I got this. And then I got this. Interesting. So that's, I think, all... I think that Pac-Man one's over there. Hmm. But let me run to the obelisk that probably just received the ones that we did. Just to clarify, the... EPs that we just did, the environmental puzzles we just did, they're all in the previous episode. It's when I was in the boat and I was going around the, the castle and all that stuff. Just wanted to clear that up just so everyone knew what I was talking about. And I can check based on what's there. I know there's one in the town. Also, we haven't turned off the, uh, the windmill and listened for a click today, which is another big thing that we do. Uh, Townopolis is there. There we go. Let's go look at this. It's that cool obelisk noise. I was looking for the one that I just did, but I don't see that one, so maybe this is not the obelisk for the back side of the the tower, or the, the castle. I keep wanting to call it the tower. Alright. Let's go turn off the windmill and listen for a, a click. Uh, if you don't know, the windmill, if you turn it off at the right spot, sometimes it makes a satisfying click. I don't know what the right click is. Uh, some people believe it's a combination lock. I don't know, but I certainly don't know what what the purpose of this is in the game. And this is not a game to have things without purpose. I'm going to turn this up. Everybody listen. Listen closely. There's that weird click. It doesn't always make that noise, but it, it kind of clicks like now it's where it's supposed to be. That's with the broken one. 
at uh, at like 10 o'clock. That's weird. So I keep doing this in the Let's Play where I kind of just start and stop the windmill and then like listen for a click. Uh, two things I want to say about this real quickly is I'm still compiling data on this. And this is something that's going to come up later. It might even end up being its own episode when I get around to just compiling all the information. But I'm getting all this these details and I have a couple theories that I want to test out. But it doesn't make sense for me to make them now because there's a lot of stuff that has to happen before then. Uh, and I... I I, it's not done. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying different things and I'm comparing different things from past episodes and things like that. But I do believe this theory that the windmill is a combination lock makes a lot of sense. A uh, way a combination lock works is not just spinning it and getting it to the right spot. There's also a number of spins that needs to take place. Because usually you have to spin it a bunch of times in one direction, stop, one full locate rotation, and then the next number and stop and then last number and stop. Like, the the rotation of the windmill kind of feels congruent in a way to the way a lock works, or a combination lock works. And the clicks, that is actually how you crack a safe. Like, you'll see it in, like, movies and stuff like that, and uh, they do it in, what, Army of the Dead? <laughs> uh, which is a fun film. But the idea of a safe cracker putting in those things and listening with a stethoscope for the moment that the lock clicks into the right spot, cheap combination locks do click. And if you listen hard enough with usually a device, you can listen for that moment that things like shift into place. So the idea that there are different clicks, very suspicious. Of course, this is also the guy that said that there's at least five foot steps per foot per location that you're stepping on so it very much could be nothing so sometimes it clicks sometimes it makes like a good chunk but i'm definitely doing different things and getting different uh results so i'm gonna leave it like that for now and uh, we are going to run to because another thing i know i need to do is i have to open the door to the treetops or the the not the marsh the swamp Take a look at the map here real quick. Do, 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 do. Apparently I'm missing this door. Interesting. Feel free to say hot in the chat. Already got this one, right? This one's an obvious one. Yeah, I got that one. Okay. This obelisk is looking almost done. I'm missing two. I'm missing, I'm missing two. One, two. I right, mean, this is an area I should hide it, like kind of make my last passes through. Cause I'd like to complete an obelisk, but lake map doesn't tell you anything about the obelisk. Just want to correct something I said right there. I said that there's no obelisks on the lake. There are. The obelisks are the fountains, and when you've completed an obelisk, they shoot higher. Uh, I'm saying that the lake doesn't tell you where the environmental puzzles are. Just want to clear that up so people don't yell at me in the chat or in the comments. This isn't live. That's why I'm an editor. I also mentioned in the video that's actually going up on YouTube on Friday or tomorrow, depending on when I get it edited, I make leaves fall at one point. I don't know how I did that. Such a strange area. Say hi to my girlfriend. Hi. I kiss your hand. So if I make my way this way, behind the keep, and this is actually the keep and not the castle that I keep accidentally calling the keep, there is like a door here. And another obelisk for us to look at. Oh no, I can't get to this door. Shit.
All right, so these, I know what these are that I have to do. There's a lot to be done with the key. This is a very interesting one. I think I know what that one is as well. That's another, I got the guitar. And our footsteps sounded weird for a moment. I thought, I thought there's a way to get this to come down from this side, but I guess I'm wrong. All right. All right, we gotta do a very silly boat thing. So let's do the very silly boat. Today seems to be about doing the very difficult, um, puzzles with the boat. So let's keep that going. Right. So we're going to run through the marsh. Oh. Is there a way to do this without using those? Because that's going to slow me down. Oh, is this taking me up the mountain? Oh, God. This is a way through. What is this door? Oh, I gotta find that door because those are panels that need to be fixed. Or completed in some way. Uh. Alright, so we're gonna go down this way. Just check in. No, I don't want to be up here. I want to be down. This is, that's also totally one. Like, I don't know what perspective I need to look at, but, like, look at that. Maybe we have to be higher up or something, but that's totally an environmental. All right. How do I get there? How do I get to the thing I need? So that's how I can bring the boat up, because I'm going to need the boat. But now that I saw that other pathway, now I'm obsessed with it. How, how can I... That just leads me lower. How do I get to that? Oh, now I'm I'm straight up baffled now. There was definitely an area with a bunch of panels on it that needed to be solved that I had have not solved. Do I get there via purple? Like do I have to spin this? Oh, right, because i got to separate all of them. Shoot, I forgot. Okay. Ooh, doo -doo. What? What am I doing wrong? Separated. Oh, oh, those are ones. That's right. I have to do it like this. And like, and like, okay, I think, I think that's my issue. I gotta do that and that. And then I can do this. That one doesn't actually make sense. Oh, no, it does. It does. Okay. I wonder if there's like a another option on how to do this. Right, red is broken. Right. It's been a while since I've been in this area. Hey, that's a trap door. I've never noticed that. That's a handle. These are all handles. 
you should be able to open all of these. So I do want to point this out. It is weird that these things do appear to have handles, but I think what this is meant to imply is that these things can be shifted around very easily. Like this was something that was built very quickly and you're just kind of laying these down to kind of create a floor. So the fact that you can pick them up, it's not a trap door like I've been called. Like it's not, it's not a, a booby trap, but it does look like that you can kind of easily lift this up and remove the part you would stand on and move it elsewhere. Uh, I don't know why you would need to do that other than the fact that I think this is an algae farm and they were trying to just create these walkways as quickly as possible. So rather than, uh, you know, painstakingly putting in permanent flooring because it looks like things break all the time, putting in these quick movable, uh, like one size fit all flooring makes sense. But there could be something more to this. It's definitely weird enough to kick to you guys if you have any thoughts about it. Oh, and this is so an environmental puzzle, too. Maybe it's the other side I need to look at. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to do that on the way back. All right. This is broken. Is that where the alligator is? God, every did I turn into RoboCop? Jesus! Obey the Prime Directive. I'm legitimately so frustrated right now that I don't know where to get to the thing. All right, let's do the stupid boat thing that I want to do. All right. Okay. All right, so this is like a nifty little puzzle. Hopefully I'm smart enough to do it. Stand off to the side like this. Where's the, the circle? Right, so I need this to go from here, around here. And we'll send you off here, okay? Run! Now I gotta run! Because we need this boat to be in a very specific place. Here it goes. I'm racing it to its location. That's not the right way. I'm already screwing this up. Oh, God. Here goes the boat. Just trying to check out where the hell that I get to that from. Understand it. I think I gotta get to that red house again. I forget how to do that. It's been so long since I did that area. And we're gonna have to run through the keep. Run, 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 run. Upstairs, like. <sighs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, get out of the way. The boat's still coming. I get outside. Okay. Where you at, boat? Coming boat. Just looking for the boat. Because what we gotta do is this one. Line 
it up. Line it up nicely. Come on, line up. Why doesn't this line up right? Is there a certain spot I gotta stand that fills in the uh, the gap there or something? Or does the boat do that? I don't remember. The boat's gonna come by and complete this. Because I'm gonna go from here over here, use the boat, and come across to that. That's the plan. So here I am, uh, once again, standing where that lookout point is. And a lot of people said that that lookout point is meant to show me this exact environmental puzzle. And I think you're right. I mean, based on where I'm standing to accomplish this uh, environmental puzzle, it does appear to be exactly uh, the right spot in order to complete this. I will also say it takes a really long time for the boat to appear. So if you just want to wait till the goods, go ahead and jump to the time code on screen now. What I need, this isn't like, like there's a piece missing still. How do I fix this? Because like that seems to, is there getting another? Like, is it the branch? Like, do I look through it? Oh my god. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, come on. Where's the boat? Oh my god. I mean, it might just be the boat. It might just be the redness of the boat that catches that. But I know that I need the boat to fill in. Like, I ride the boat from here to there. Boat. Where are you at? There's also the chance that I've already missed the boat, but I don't think that's the case. I'm trying to sit on the seat. I'm trying to get it to it like most perfectly round. Which looks like it's about here. What's up, chat? <laughs> You're gonna watch me panically hope that I got this boat right. Oh, uh, come on. There's something else I'm not seeing. I hope I don't have to do it from like up there. Right, but I don't want to run away and check and then be wrong. octopus again that's the octopus i never see it i never realize when i'm playing that that's an octopus but i'm once again clicking on it that's what that is also i know i said that there was nothing until the time code so if you pause just because you saw me talking here to go back sorry oh Looking for it. It looks like it's it's weird that like now that I, I have a PS5. This game came out originally. I don't know if this was originally PS4, or if this was originally PS3. It might be originally a PS3 game. Uh The grass looks so, like, clearly a simulation now. Where's this freaking boat? Is that it? Is that the boat? That is the boat. It's coming.
The vote will be here soon. Ah. This is, this is the, the big ending for today's stream. I feel like there's, like, I certainly hope this boat is correct. And it lines up just perfectly nicely right here. It does look like there's like an orangeness to the front of the boat that matches. I just hope I'm standing in the right place because I hate to have to do this again. Go, boat, go. So, boat can go without a driver. Like, th this heavily implies that the boat is actually on some sort of rail. There are a few places where it can veer off from the rail, but... Not veer off, but like, there's like some forks in the road. Please work. Here it comes. It's gonna fit perfect. Yes. Continue your journey. that it goes over there and gets recorded on the obelisk right there look at it how beautiful it is ah, nice all right so we got a few more of the environmental puzzles and in case you're wondering like why isn't this cut more i kind of want to leave everything in because you might see something that I missed. Like, that's the thing about this game, is like every detail, every shadow, every leaf. Look at this leaf. This leaf might be the most important leaf in the whole game. It seems identical to this leaf, but it's not. So uh, I kind of leave all this stuff in here for you to kind of see if there's anything I miss. I'll probably put time codes in where you can skip if you want, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's what we do here. This is uh, Solving the Witness. Thank you so much for joining me with another edition of Solving the Witness, where we try to find the underlying secrets of this game. I'll take it from here. It's my job to end the videos, player Noah. Don't you dare step on my toes. All right, here are the takeaways for this episode. I have a lot written down, but there, there's not a lot, really. Uh, one is the bell, the bell of the boat. Do you think that that show that there was a time where there were more people on the island using the boats? Or am I overthinking it? Let me know. Uh, koi fish, anything to say about it? Let me know. Uh, safe cracking and the idea of the windmill. Again, there's, there's more to this than I'm currently letting on, but I'm waiting till I get all the data and I'm, I'm chugging away at this. So there is a purpose that I keep doing this, but it could be nothing. And if you think it's nothing, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, uh, the map, the lake being the map, if you have anything to say about it, let me know. The trap doors, as I called them, in the marsh, what do you think they're for? Why is there a handle on the floor? I don't think it's anything big, but I want to hear from you. And that is all. See? Told you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Solving the Witness. Be sure to subscribe so you can get a notification next time we decide to solve the witness.